The world of streaming can be unusual. Show microwave, show microwave, show microwave, show microwave. Here you go, microwave. You're happy! It can be strange. What the f***? <gasps> God! <gasps> and sometimes even downright bizarre. They're not my beans! They're not my beans! So, becoming known as the weird one in this sea of oddities is no easy feat. Some might even regard it as foolish, hopeless, impossible. But a 47-year-old Scottish comedian by the name of Brian Limmy Lemon might just be Twitch's king of the unconventional. Come here. Rosie, come here. Come here. I am your god. What the f are you doing? <laughs> Six. <laughs> so, how did a mainstream funny man who once had his own TV show end up on a Zuma-laden streaming platform? How did choosing Twitch over TV change his life for the better? And how is Limmy bringing awareness to what's truly important? Assessment extreme threat, avoid in all circumstances. I am the avoid. Hey guys, before we get into Limmy's story, I just want to warn you that we will be touching on the topics of suicide and suicide ideation in the video. And if you or anyone you care about has been dealing with thoughts of self-harm, we provided some links in the description which we hope can be helpful. All right, so throughout history, Scotland has graced the world with many incredible things. Bagpipes, kilts, scotch, Robbie Burns, the Loch Ness Monster, and in 1974, it gave us Limmy. Yes! Watch your shot! 16 meals! <laughs> nice! A man whose comedy is, by his own admission, an acquired taste. L lots of people don't like my stuff, but I like it. So that's, if other people like it, that's a bonus. I know it's cliched, but... <laughs> and a self-proclaimed troll who now puts his talents to use on Twitch full time. <laughs> But beneath his surface level hijinks, he's a loving father. You don't want to spend time with me. You're saying you want to spend time with me, you don't want to spend time with me. And for those who don't know, Limmy is also a former alcoholic who openly speaks about the dangers of addiction. The spectre of drink is always there. Do you ever, do you ever truly beat it? But long before Limmy was any of those things, he was a young lad growing up in Camwadric, a southwestern area of Glasgow. This is, this is Scotland, everybody. This is all we've got. We've got the Nairu, Hussies, that's where we all live. That's where I'm right now. I'm up there. That's where we all live. He graduated from Glasgow Caledonian University with a degree in multimedia technology. But after 10 years of website and flash design, Limmy realized that his true passion lay elsewhere. See, Limmy wanted to pursue a career in comedy. So in late 2006, he started Limmy's World of Glasgow, a comedic podcast where he invented and developed unique characters who he'd later incorporate into his performances. By 2010, Limmy had become known as one of Scotland's fastest rising comedic stars. And it was around that time that he got his first big break. Limmy was approached by BBC Scotland with the offer to bring his offbeat sense of humour to the masses in his own TV series, Limmy's Show. The humour was unconventional, the jokes were absurd, and the man himself deeply memeable. <laughs> you prick. You're the dick. I said prick, not dick. I'm calling you a dick. You wank. I wank you, you dick. Shit. I've got a question for you. What's heavier? A kilogram of steel or a kilogram of feathers? That's right, it's a kilogram of steel because steel is heavier than feathers. But steel's heavier than feathers. <laughs> I know, but they're both a kilogram. What? But despite being a certified cult classic, after three seasons, the BBC decided not to renew Limmy's show. In the wake of his series running its course, Limmy made YouTube skits and cameos in popular TV series, wrote a few books, and continued to do stand-up. Try and wrap your head around something so small. Can you do it? 
Well, see that size? That's your dad's cock. <laughs> but there was something else Limmy had begun to dabble in alongside his professional endeavors. Slowly but surely, he was getting sucked deeper into the void that is social media. Limmy's online ventures were chugging along well enough, but he was still trying to go the traditional route, even though his style of comedy remained anything but that. Unfortunately for Limmy, he wasn't able to find the kind of success he wanted. A few more attempts at mainstream TV later, Limmy finally announced he was quitting for good, and the reason was deeply rooted in his long-time mental health struggles. For many people in the entertainment industry, landing a show bearing your name on a national TV network has been the pinnacle of success. But as much as Limmy has enjoyed the fruits of his labor over the years, the truth is, it hasn't been all peaks. Obviously, Limmy made it through his teen years, but he had struggled with anxiety and suicidal thoughts, which would periodically resurface throughout his adulthood and become even more intense as he descended into full-blown alcohol addiction. I thought to myself, see that hangover, and honestly, see that hangover, that it felt like it lasted for about a fucking month. Mentally, I was mentally sort of weak and frail for like a fucking month. And I remember thinking to myself, right, I sack it, I'm not drinking again. The only thing that's going to get me out of this, the only thing that's going to make me see the light at the fucking end of the tunnel here is promising myself I'm not drinking. In 2004, Limmy vowed to never drink again, but in some ways, his mental health struggles were still getting worse. Just something hit me. Same sort of feeling that hit me when I stopped drinking. I just thought, you're on the fucking verge of dying. You're on the verge of fucking dying. This is it. You need to fucking do something. He reflected on his mental state and reached out for help. After receiving the appropriate clinical aid, Lemmy was finally able to control his dark thoughts a bit better. Finding a means to financially support his family became yet another challenge for Lemmy to overcome, and TV just wasn't the answer anymore. You see, Limmy's whole comedic persona was built around being deeply, unapologetically himself. The good, the bad, and especially the ugly. And as a result, conforming to any sort of socially acceptable standard and the pressures of network television only aggravated his inner demons. Luckily for Limmy, by 2018, there was a place that allowed him to take full control over the content he wanted to create without the pressures of network ratings hanging over his head. A place where unusual isn't just the standard, but a celebrated art. That's right, everyone's favourite crass Scottish joker launched his own channel on Twitch. Initially, Limmy's streams were mostly just chatting focused, but he eventually dabbled in gaming, playing titles like Overwatch, Papers, Please, and Subnautica. Get him! No! Oh! I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm so Scottish, look at me. I'm amazing. <laughs> yeah. Shut it, Haggis head. <laughs> At this point, Twitch was still just a part time experiment for Limmy, but by the time 2020 rolled around, that started to change. Faced with the possibility of having to churn out more mainstream friendly content, which he absolutely hated the thought of, Limmy decided to go all in on Amazon's purple platform. There's some Scottish people that kind of say purple burger alarm, 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 burger alarm. What's this? Peppy, what the f also known as Lemmy Peppy. What? I will tongue your hole. <laughs> okay then. Somebody got caught out in the rain, everybody. Okay. For the first time in years, Limmy was free to conduct himself exactly as he pleased. And if his numbers are anything to go by, his fans were getting exactly what they wanted as well. Just all Limmy, all the time. This car is full of four bushels of raisins that I'm driving to my brother's place in intercourse. <laughs> From your grave, rise, so that I may kill you once again. Get out there, you f***ing robber! Ooh.
Now, if you think Limmy just took whatever audience he already had and brought them over to Twitch, you're probably partially right. But there was a whole swath of his fans who couldn't even point Scotland out on a map, didn't know what sort of programs BBC Scotland ran, and obviously had no idea who Limmy was either. I'm the steel is heavier than feathers guy. I have two BAFTAs. How can he not know who I am? What's that? What's that? Of course, when you're going live for hours at a time and you're building a loyal audience, your community is bound to develop some inside jokes as a result of your behaviour. And we obviously couldn't make a video about Limmy without touching on his now iconic blabs, a phenomena that can't really be explained, it just has to be experienced. I think you're gonna wanna see blam. 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 <coughs> but I think it first became almost like a kind of character. There's no point in making anything up. Look at that jawline, that's right. Look at it. I was thinner so I'll be and younger looking. Good hit subscribe. But as much as Limmy has enjoyed blamming with his viewers over the years, he's not really the sort of guy who can keep a low profile. SCAN! SCAN! And at some point, some of the bigger names in streaming began to take notice of Limmy's antics, which only bolstered his popularity further. Rodney! Glocks in my country! This is exactly like train spotting! Hassan, yeah, Hassan Abbey. I can't remember the full name. All right, that's right, I've got a funny accent. Get over it. If this has been the worst year of your life, that means next year will be even, uh, will be better. If it gets worse, then congratulations, this hasn't been the worst year of your life. Mmm. In a span of a few years, playing over 300 different games, Lemmy has been able to amass an audience of over 400,000 followers. He went from being a comedian with his own show on a national network to being, arguably, Twitch's unofficial king of weird. There's no reason for me to do any of the, like, the telly stuff. What about producing for new talent? Oh, for f**k's sake, brev! Why the f would I want to do that? And sure, Twitch might not have solved all of Limmy's problems, and possibly introduced him to some new ones he might never have encountered anywhere else, but it did give him a place to express himself on his terms. And what better place to do that than on the weird communal stomping ground that is streaming, where you don't ever have to do it alone. Here's Samuel, happy birthday mate, it's Lemmy here. All the very best. I hear you're doing really, really well at what you're doing. Keep it up. At the end of the day, everyone's got a story to tell. For some, it's a tragedy. For others, a comedy. But for Lemmy, it's always been a bit of both. I've bottled up my emotions and denied how I feel and not express myself. And it could possibly have contributed to my self-harm when I was 15. For that reason, this is my bastard and f***ing road and I'm not gonna let any of these f***ing c**ts overtake me. They can all f*** off. Whether he's laughing, swearing, or dropping some profound truth bombs, Lemmy has taken control of the narrative and proved to us all that being open to changing course is one of the greatest gifts you can ever give yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye had a fantastic time as usual. Bye for now. <laughs> oh, I love that one. <laughs> he does one. Oh, God, he's got one where he mocks like American sports. The New York Jet Hawks with the fourth base in the second quarter of the fifth inning. <laughs> I'm so intrigued by these sound ups. It's mad. This sound up is so funny. There's no. <laughs> you seen this one. Purple Burglar. <laughs> <laughs>